subjects you to the opportunity of getting stuffed, which is why it's not as good. Okay. Because it's like, oh, he's jumping in this arc. I know what he's doing. But Ike, he's already doing the move, so it's like, oh, we already have to get out of the way. This is kind of like, oh, he didn't get the move out yet. Let me just throw out a faster move or a, a move that's like farther out that way when he's swinging from behind him. So you just get there first. Uh -huh. I also... I think because of that, it has uh, it's lacking a little priority. Also, the hitbox for his sword seems a little smaller than other than other areas. I can I can understand that. Uh, but what are your figures with Bowser? Bowser? In neutral. It's good, but it's it, like in in the future, I can tell that it's going to be more of a um, uh, mix-up move. You're not going to want to just throw that out Definitely. because it has too much cooldown. So a lot of characters will just grab so what do you suggest you do in neutral as Cloud? I suggest you play the mid game and mix up uh, short hop back air and dashing grab. Alright, alright, let's look. Seriously. Do you think Cloud's viable? Do you think Cloud's viable? Who's not viable in this game? Right? Yeah. Five Mewtwo. Characters. Yeah. Uh, Mewtwo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's viable. I think yeah. he's viable because there's only like five characters that are viable. I don't think he's that bad. Do you he's think? Do you think Cloud's gonna have any good matchup against top tier characters? I feel uh, like he might not have a good matchup, but he might prove difficult to people that he can weave against with his moves. Like if there's people who like to go to the air, he might be able to slot and punish their landings. Uh, I think that he definitely has comeback viability uh, with his kills at like 50 percent with the Breaker, but uh, it's hard to say right now. I can see him having a decent matchup. Probably huh. even with Rosalina, perhaps. To, uh, the shield pressure that he does have, and that uh, Rosalina is not as fast as the other top tiers and could not get on, in on him as much and would not. I think the real problem we have right now is that Bowser has a hoo-ha. That's the real problem we have. Forget Cloud, we have a new problem. Bowser can kill you. Guaranteed at seventy percent. Well, I would bye say bye. this character is one of those characters that if he gets your first stock, he is sitting very pretty. He's one of those characters that he wins the match if he gets the first stock, and he's a very confident player who won't give away a kill. So I feel like that's where Cloud's going to fit this meta. Is is can I get your first stock? Cloud also definitely benefits from Rage more than a lot of other characters. His F smash killing as early as what sixty. Maybe if you're all the way on the edge, but I think it's more like 80. 80? Okay. With Rage? Uh, I think it kills... I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't really I've like paying that close attention. I know his um, side B limit, but of course, the edge is really good at killing. It goes around 40, 50. He definitely kills I honestly think that move's going to be better at think. Yeah. Because you're going to be able to go off stage and just block this huge area with all those slashes. Um, earlier, I was playing um, Seagull in his uh, cloud, and on Natural, he was on a platform leading over, and I covered his roll option and his stand to get up with just the side beat, like Rick's side beat. My only problem with his limit breaks are that they are all blockable, and that can prove a problem, because down beat especially is very punishable if box or even Spot dodge. Which is why you gotta get the grab on it. Yeah. So I think uh, there's some definite strategy on how you charge your limit break off stage. You don't want you want to get it like really close to charge, but not quite all the charge when you get off stage, so you don't have to bust it to use an up bait and then get it on stage. I mean that finishing touch can take you out at 60, which is yeah. you have to get like a real stupid hit on shield though to get it, or a hard read. Kind of like Luigi for you can maybe. Swinging the sword. Right. This match might come down to who knows how to punish. Uh, hitting the shield better. That's what it looks like. Both players are. Looks like they're still definitely all figured out the character. Oh, he could have. What he could have done was faded back and side beat as he Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I just want to throw a shout out to Logic. He's so excited he won Xanadu that on his Facebook he put, finally, woman Xanadu. That's what I'm saying. 
Finally, woman Xanadu. Well done, Logic. Finally, woman Xanadu. I don't see a lot of follow-ups to Delta at the moment. Like, uh, Cody's getting a lot of them, but he's kind of just backing off. I think if you get, um... I think if you get the, uh... Limit break neutral B, you can do another neutral, you can short hop forward and do another neutral B and it will combo. Okay. No. This is another unfortunate thing about Cloud is that his limits automatically activate so you don't have control over it. You can't save it. You also don't lose it like KO Punch. Yeah. So also, you have the to use neutral move. B limit break, if they block it, I'm pretty sure if you do it at a medium range, you can run up and grab yeah. the free. So it's good for shield pressure. Or you can probably forward smash their shield or side beat their shield. So now the limit break side beat doesn't have as much lag as your fate. So it's definitely, I feel like it will be preferred over the Delphi as a kill move. W may kill earlier, but like I said before, you can block it. It's not, it's not as reliable. So Cloud's up throw is probably his best kill throw, but it's not like to like 180. Maybe. Oh! Got him. Coney's wins. Go. Coney takes it. Alright, I'm up next against Pink Trash. Tony the King.